In this tutorial, you're gonna learn how to make a text appearing, like in a mystical way, like in a mysterious way. And I've created the word hope appearing uh, like through a beam of light, of red light. I've created this one using uh, just a simple effect. I'm gonna create a new composition to show exactly how it works. All I need to have is a new layer, and the new layer is just a solid layer. I've gotta make sure that the new solid layer is uh, red, and then I'm gonna pick from my effects and preset the effects and preset called Mr. Mercury. If I type Mr., you will only find two plugins with the Mr. Word. So Mr. Mercury, I'm gonna apply to the uh, solid. And this one just creates uh, a blob. I want to customize this blob a little bit, so I move my CTI forward. I make sure I remove the gravity on the effects control panel. I set it to zero so that the blob doesn't fall but stays around. But I don't want him to spread so far, so I've got to also increase the value for resistance. By increasing the resistance, I make sure that the blob remains in the same position. It doesn't spread too far. Also, I scroll down at the shading options, and in the shading options, I will decrease the value for ambient that by default is set to 100. By doing so, I will appreciate the texture of the blob a little bit better. Now, what I want to do is to work with the longevity of the blob. I want the longevity to be higher, meaning that the blob particles will stay on the screen for slightly longer. And at the same time, I play with the birth rate value, which will increase the number of particles to appear. I also want to control the emitter so that uh, at the maximum of the birth rate, it will be 1.4, but just before that and just after that, it will be zero. So in order to do so, I start with uh, the stopwatch for the birth rate and tap the letter U on my keyboard. This one will show me the keyframes in the timeline with the value 1.4. I move my CTI backward a little bit and I set the value to zero. Now I select the same two keyframes and copy both of them with the shortcut command C, move my CTI forward a little bit and paste command V. So this value will be 0, 1.4, and again 0 and 1.4. Then I right click on both of them or any of them and I choose keyframe assistant and the time reverse keyframe. By doing so now I have 0, 1.4, 1.4, 0, which means that only in between these two 1.4 keyframes the particles will be emitted. And the result will be a blob emitted that then disappear right after. And now I want to make this blob less uh, blood looking and a little bit more mysterious. So I'm gonna add another effect, which is called CC Radial Fast Blur. So CC Radial Fast Blur. There are plenty of uh, radial blur or radial filters, but we have to make sure we choose the CC Radial Fast Blur and I apply it to the layer. In the settings here, I decide to increase the amount to make sure that the particles are blurred even more. And that's what I've uh, achieved so far. Where the blob comes in, I also want to change the point of uh, origin of the radial blur. Instead of from the middle of the video, I want to make it from the bottom, on the bottom of the blob. So you see this one is the controller that allows to move the blob around, the radial effect around actually. And I want to bring it at the bottom and uh, increase the amount a little bit more. Now it's time to bring the text into the composition. So I'm gonna choose the text tool on top here. And uh, I type on the screen, hope, and I scale it down just to match the size of the blob. When I work with text, I always make sure that I set the kerning to optical to adjust the kerning between the letters. And I make sure that at the maximum amount of blob, the entire text is covered. I also want to blur the text just a little bit using a fast blur. By using fast blur, I'm able to make the edges of the word a little bit more soft, not too much, probably three points is just enough. And all I need to do now is to tail the blob to play only within my text. And to do so, I have to make sure that uh, I have the track mat column available. If you don't, it's probably because you have the switches available. So in that case, you will see something like this. Change it by clicking toggle, switches and mode, and uh, change the track mode for the layer underneath, which is your solid, to define that 
the solid will be played only within the text. So you will change none to Luma Matte Hope, meaning take the color from the layer on top. And there you go. When we play the video, the particles will only play within the word hope. One more time. You can also change the words and you can just copy and paste your keyframes for the Mr. Mercury and paste it again in the timeline if you want to multiply the number of occurrence of the effect. So it will appear first and then it will appear again. And you can change word in between. So the first word will appear and the second word will appear once the first one has faded. You can spread them apart to make sure that the first word has completely disappeared before the second word starts appearing again.